What does this sentence from Galbraith mean? In Galbraith's Economics in Perspective, a Critical History, a Spanish edition, bear that in mind, by chapter 2 the author says, the conservatives, in a non-socialist economy, proclaim the right to private property, while the leftist socialist liberals, in the American jargon, proclaim energically, but cautiously, the superior interest of the state or the collective. Original English text 1987. The conservative in the non-socialist economy stands with unthinking eloquence for the rights of private property, while those on the social left, liberals, in American parlance, contentiously but cautiously assert the higher claims of the state or the public interest. I understand that, roughly. Non-socialist dollar implies dollar. The state does not intervene. Dollar implies dollar. Individualism and private property. And also that socialist dollar implies dollar. The state does intervene. Dollar implies dollar. Collectivism, but not necessarily negating private property. I do not understand the leftist socialists equals liberals in the American jargon, probably because I don't really understand what leftist and liberal mean can someone clarify the sentence please from an economical point of view also please bear in mind that the sentence could be terribly translated from spanish and that i'm only beginning to read about these topics and not yet familiar with the type of reasoning used in social sciences thanks and please add whatever tags you think are needed there is a discussion of this in the wikipedia article modern liberalism in the united states Although the objective of this site is to offer more authoritative answers, I think the Wikipedia article is adequate for giving context, as this is really a question about politics, not economics as it is understood now. The key point is that Europeans and Americans use liberalism differently, as was explained in a 1956 essay by Arthur Schlesinger Jr. linked to essay. The European usage emphasizes freedom of commerce, which is normally referred to as libertarianism in the United States. This is a philosophy that is tied to a specific vision of the economy. The American version of liberalism emphasizes other non-economic rights, and in fact favors the welfare state. This is as about as close to collectivism that you get in mainstream American politics e.g., the Democratic Party. Bernie Sanders is a notable exception, and is unusual as an elected American politician that self-identifies as a socialist. I'd argue that American liberalism is not very well defined in an economic context, other than being less free market oriented than the Republican Party. However, that could cover almost the entire political spectrum of some other countries, like Canada, where I'm from. Left and right are terms that came out of French politics, and the meaning depends upon the country. The left is usually collectivist. 